Hey folks, welcome to Clipsy's Bricks. And uh, today I'm gonna do a little something a little different. Um, don't worry, the rest of the tattoo shop is coming. Um, but it's been a year since I did my first video on YouTube and I kind of want to revisit that first mock that I, um, that I presented, which is my apothecary. And I figured this little, this little fellow here could, uh, looks like he needs an apothecary. So with that said, I'm going to get it onto the table and let's take a look at it. All right, then I'm going to get our little guy going in. All right. So initially when I did my very first video, I didn't do any proper voiceover. I didn't really explain what I'd done, um, but I want to take that opportunity now. Um, so this building uh, is modeled after the pharmacy museum in the French Quarter of New Orleans. Uh, you see a photo over here. Um, but I really liked those. Well, that building obviously has four arches, um, but I wanted to have a, an alleyway here. So I, I kind of squished it down and got rid of the, which that left side is the, um, of the original building, uh, is a, like a sally port or, uh, Kind of like a garage that goes through into the into the back uh, into the backyard of the building, um, but I really like the triple arch um, structure, and I wanted to reproduce it here in Lego. Uh, I thought it was a really unique uh, build. Uh, also, the original building has um, you can see that it actually should have another story, um, but I just kind of condensed it down to the two to stay within that kind of modular standard um, as far as uh, you know the overall height of the building uh, especially since because of the uh, architectural detail here I wanted to, uh, and wanting to do that I kind of needed uh, what is essentially a story and a half um, in height brick height to be able to accommodate that as well as those those front windows um, and then uh, I'm just gonna spin it around here and you can see all the sides. Um, the other thing is, you know, I mean, a lot of old buildings, you know, downtowns when they rip down the adjacent building, you can see where old staircases went up or, or, or doors or not. And I kind of wanted to put that kind of element in. Um, here's the back, you can see the garden. See the outside of the brick wall. Um, and back to the front. Zoom in there a little bit on the, on the alleyway. Going to the back, a little, a little garden, garden fountain, fountain the, towards the back there. Wanted to be, you know, kind of a little rustic too, so I got the front gates and, and disrepair. Um, yeah. Downspout. Uh, but one more thing. This uh, kind of want to give you a shot of it here, but in the intervening in the intervening year, um, I have done some updates and kind of finished the build. Um, so I finished the inter some of the inter interior uh, details, uh, tiled it off, um, but I wanted to do one more thing. I kind of felt the the facade was a little plain um, and I wanted something to break it up. Uh, so I decided to, it, as is normal, I guess, or, or typical of a lot of buildings in the French Quarter, from those second floor balconies and third floor balconies, you get a lot of uh, vegetation, uh, plants and whatnot, and they usually hang down. So uh, I decided to do that here with this, and then put that on and be right back. So there's the finished exterior shot with the, uh, with the vegetation in, in place. Um, you can see I used the uh, spring yellowish green um, limb elements, the large ones, uh, with some smaller limb elements in the uh, lime kind of intermixed with Olive, uh, olive green three leaf um, 
sprues and then uh, uh, some of these little uh, pink or magenta flowers um, the those two I got off of the Picker, local Picklebrook wall so I had a lot of I've got a lot of them uh, but I kind of really like the um, the color combination and the way the uh, especially the spring yellow uh, green uh, limb elements way they kind of pop especially against the dark orange uh, bricks well let's uh, open this up and uh, I'll show you what's inside so um, kind of a unique way I built built this is you know, the uh, downspouts attached to this top part but I made it so that the balcony is actually attached to the half story um, and not to the to the top um, and then in order to get down in there <laughs> I actually went a, one step further and this portion is actually kind of is modular you can take it off. Actually, but before we do that, we'll give you the, I'll give you a down, downward interior shot so you can kind of take in the, the apoth the bottom floor of the apothecary from its, from all of its glory. As you can see along the exterior wall, I've got a shelving with some uh, remedies. Uh, you can also see the, some of the furniture obviously comes from some Harry Potter sets, specifically uh, the Hogwarts Moments Potions class set 67383, which is that table, um, as well as the Herbology set uh, 76384. Uh, I use some of those elements here um, on the ground floor as well as uh, you'll see in the second floor as well. You can see here I used uh, Tiana from the Disney 100 collectible minifigure series. Uh, I really kind of like the way she fit uh, into the apothecary. And then, you know, in, in true early pharmacy apothecary kind of uh, establishments you know you got some unusual ingredients uh, uh kind of the, the skulls and the bones uh also i used uh, this bowl and the maraca as uh, kind of a mortar and pestle idea uh, then we got a bookshelf here along the back wall getting some reading uh you got the apothecary uh, cabinet there also and behind the uh the person reading and then uh yeah just some other remedies and, and whatnot on the back wall. And then uh, the original uh, Apothecary Museum in New Orleans, the ground floor has a really nice uh, stone cobble, uh, not really cobble, but kind of stone slab appearance. And I use the Nexo Night Shields uh, to kind of imitate that. And then outside here on the uh, in the alleyway, you've got you know, some plants where you can grow your herbs and uh, other ingredients that you'd use inside the shop. Um, you know, some of these other things also came from those uh, herbology set. Um, and then, of course, you doing some gardening, you know, a place to get some water. And then also, you know, I just kind of did that cobblestone brick appearance for the ground. And to carry that rustic appearance, I kind of wanted the wall to, you know, to look like it's in disrepair, disrepair you know, a little bit broken down, you know, the railing on top kind of stops, you get some holes and cracks. I added a garden fountain towards the back, you know, you got some nice decorative tiles, 
but this is more of like a decorative feature as opposed to functional like the uh, the other spigot. Take a look at the second floor. In the roof. Um, there's nothing actually in the roof. Just you do have the the window because of the Original building design has that, actually had two dormers, but uh, because of the width of the building, I just put the one. But you can see it's completely empty. <laughs> Not really enough space up there anyways. You can see I used uh, Dr. Vassilier from the uh, Disney uh, 100 CMF series. I kind of thought he fit as well. And I used the vast majority of that potions class for the interior on this side of the build, of upper floor. Yeah, we got the fireplace here. Uh, you know, cooking up some, cooking up some remedies. We got one of the potions books. Uh, I think this uh, little signs from the uh, herbology class, uh, and then got a little lantern above. Um, and then beside the chair, there's a cauldron and uh, also some ingredients. Yeah. And then I have it uh, glassed off. So you got a glass door you got to enter. Um, kind of so when you come up the stairs, um, you come into kind of the also additional growing area. Uh, this whole dividing wall is actually from the herbology set. Mm, yeah. Just kind of, those sets were great um, for Added, being able to add uh, details into interior details into build into builds uh, cabinet um. and then I even kept uh, from the potions class uh, set there's a hidden gem that shows up in behind the wall in that set and uh, I kind of still include it here you can kind of see it through the window um, but I kind of wanted to keep that feature of, of the set. I always like to kind of keep uh, some of the elements from sets that I use and to help populate my, my mocks. And yeah, it's in behind that, uh, that shelf there. All in all, I'm like really happy with the way, uh, with the way this uh, build turned out. Uh, those sets are great uh, for adding interior details. Um, I'm going to take a look at the new banner sets too. I don't know, might be able to use them in a future build. Uh, also, you know, I did keep some of it all rustic. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel the need to tile off every single open stud. Um, you know, it is Lego after all. <laughs> that just goes back on there. And that goes back on there. You can see the little sawtooth. They teeth match up on the bottom to keep the keep the floors in place. Had to be had to be creative on uh, how I connected the floors, uh, given some of my limitations on uh, with uh, making sure doors fit, especially with and keeping the proportions of the building correct and when I kind of like you know to get the six high door I kind of had to notch you can see and the way the floor kind of notches out the floor above but when it's all together you know you don't really notice that so but yeah and so that is my apothecary one last thing the uh, I had the stickers custom made um, kind of came up with the with the design and I approached uh, brickaddict.net um, about making uh, ma making the actual stickers so I provided the drawing to them and they came up with them they turned out great I thought so I wanted that mortar and pestle look when you know it also contrasts to the you know more pharmaceutical um, drugstore I have in with the tattoo shop Well, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this build. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like this uh, video. Appreciate it if you drop a, 
drop a like. Uh, next time I will have an update for the tattoo shop. Um, I was just getting some pieces in and I was going to rush and get out a video and then I decided, you know what, I didn't want to rush the build. So, uh, it, uh, and then realized when that I'd hit the year mark on being on YouTube. So I thought I'd revisit the apothecary first. Um, appreciate you watching and, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, take care everyone.